What's up guys, Bodie Davison back with another video for you. So today's video, we're gonna talk about Dropified and more so Dropified versus Oberlo. So they're both very powerful um, semi-automation tools for your drop shipping. And they're both, well, like either one or the other is essential really. Um, you don't wanna be doing it all manually. So they do semi-automate the process. I'm sure most of you know what Oberlo is. A lot of people ask me about Dropify though, and I'm gonna tell you the benefits of Dropify today and um, go through that, but then I'm also gonna tell you the other side of it and why I mainly stick with the Burlo for new stores, but then Dropify for um, more advanced stores. So it depends where you're at and it depends what you prefer. Like some people just use Dropify straight off the bat, but I'll tell you the pros and cons of both. So make sure you join the Facebook group, Dropship Secrets 100K Club. Um, that link will be down below or somewhere. You know, I always tell you guys about this because it's a growing community and it is awesome, ran by me and free and I keep all spam out of there and um, it's a very positive, good environment. So make sure you join it. So let's just hop on over to Dropify and just have a look. So. If you're looking to down, download Dropify or a Burlo, um, you just go to the Shopify app store and hunt it out that way. So Dropify, uh, let's just go down the list here and we'll just go over a few things that I've got here. You can, you can connect to a lot of things. It integrates with a lot of things. Um, you can uh, do it from eBay as well. So that is a cool thing. You can drop ship from eBay. Um, there's a lot of things that make it really cool. Uh, the main thing, that will come up down here that I find is the best part about it is the fact that you can uh, fulfill a lot of orders at once. So that pretty much is what sets it apart for me um, and most people as to why Dropify is better. But there's the other side of it on the pricing of Dropify versus a Burlo. So Dropify used to have it was free up to 50 orders i think it was i'm pretty sure that it's been a while now but um now they have a 14 day free trial which is cool and you'll be able to check it out um see if you like it and then they have the basic and i'm pretty sure it's the premier plan which is like 127 a month so yeah it has a lot of things uh price price change auto updates product availability updates dynamic facebook feed stuff that a lot of the a lot of these things like this filter products with e-packet a lot of these things abolo has as well so there's not like anything that stands out too much more to me besides a couple of things like you can you can drop ship from ebay um you can do yeah mass amounts uh, in one click of product ordering because if you've had any sort of success with a Burlo and with drop shipping, you'll know that it can be a bit of a pain when you start having to fulfill a lot of orders. And this is why people hire virtual assistants because it, it's just that sort of mundane work where you don't want to be doing that. Like you want to grow the business. You want to be checking out your Facebook ads. You want to be editing different things. You want to be continually looking to grow and look for new products and um, edit your ad copy make sure your store's better. There's so many things to do. And a lot of people will start this when they still have a full-time job. So doing all of this stuff in your spare time and then all of a sudden having to fill, fulfill a lot of orders when you're not quite fulfilling enough orders to be able to quit your job and go full-time with it, there's like a fine line you have to try and balance there. And uh, I know this because I remember going through it. It's an absolute nightmare. Um, and then there's the whole side of like, you're going to quit your full-time job where you have that solid income and chase after like this dream of yours that may work, may, may not work. It's very scary. Um, there's a lot of things that go into taking that risk of making money online. So that, that's just the battle though. It's the risk that everyone takes. And guess what? You will see a lot of success stories as you guys would know. Um, and I am one of those success stories. So uh, this is the other thing down here that's really cool. US product database with over like, I think it's over like 10,000 products. So um, just talking about quicker shipping times because what's the one thing that everyone asks about with drop shipping? Oh, don't the customers hate the shipping times? Well, there's a way around that. You can be drop shipping from uh, the, you, the United States or wherever else. 
Um, also, you can be eventually buying things in bulk and shipping yourself. So, and then there's the other side where some people actually don't care. Like I've talked about this many times. My girlfriend will buy things and she gets them drop shipped to her. Little does she know from from China. And she like she doesn't care. She doesn't care about the weight. She just wants the product. So that's the mentality of a lot of people. They they don't care. They just want the product as long as it shows up and as long as they got tracking information, knowing that, and also as long as you tell them where the product is. So this is the other side of it where um, people fail. They fail at customer service, and I'm very big on customer service because I was a personal trainer for a long time. Like I still am a personal trainer and I've worked in customer service. And the one thing the customer cares about is knowing where their product is and being like treated well. Like, so having good communication with the customer and lots of people, when you think about all those things I was just talking about, so you've got all these things to do, you're trying to grow your business, blah, blah, blah. Then they fail on the customer service side. Well, guess what? Now your business is going to fail. So if you don't treat your customers well, you will fail at, um, at drop shipping and at any business really the customer comes first there's a reason people say that so yeah as you guys are reading down here there's a lot of things click auto fulfillment auto fulfillment monitoring um, view and manage store orders a lot of these things are very much the same as a burlo then there's a few that stand out that make it that little bit better so capture solver um, customer updates see exact dates on orders page uh, product images, this is, yeah, again, very similar to a Burlo. And then there's, um, there's other things that are on the Premier plan as well that, uh, I don't think, what else is on there? I think they're down here. Yeah, create a toll-free number. So a lot of people end up doing that. When, when your business blows up, you'll end up having to have, well, you won't have to, but it'll, it'll come in handy to have email support, and also to have a toll-free number people can ring about orders and their general inquiries, etc. So it's very easy to set up and you can have that on your store. Um, there's even apps for it, of course. There's an app for everything on Shopify. But this comes in the uh, Premier sort of plan that they have. So yeah, then it's just going to say, give you... Um, more, more benefits down here, manage multiple stores, etc. And yeah, then you got a 14 day free trial. And then it just has a thing down here showing you the difference between the builder plan, which is their basic sort of plan versus the premier plan. So the builder plan's quite good. The premier plan will be for people that are absolutely uh, smashing it. Um, you can get that Google product feed, which is obviously really cool. Uh, tube hunt, video content search, high speed capture solver, uh, Zapier integration for automation and profit, su profit summary dashboard. So. Yeah, it's got, a, it's got its benefits, definitely. Um, if we just go to pricing, I'll just show you that. But then the pricing is obviously a problem for some people, and I understand that. So like I was just saying before, they do they did used to have first 50 orders were free or something. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I can't quite remember. And then now they've just got the 14-day free trial for you to try it out. Then it's $47 a month. Um, and that's where a lot of people get turned off. But the thing is, when you start smashing it on a Burlo, you're going to have to pay for that as well. So a Burlo is quite good and um, you have a lot of free, you know, it's it's easy for beginners because they can have that free, um, free sort of period really where they're building up the business. Uh, whereas with this, you've got the 14 day free trial and then you're straight on to paying the $47 a month. So that's why I want to do this video because I get asked about this all the time and I get asked like in my that free dropshipping course that I've done which is on my channel for you guys that are new go and check it out I got a full 81 video dropshipping course that I could have charged like a thousand dollars for and I posted for free on YouTube so go and go and check that out so in that I'm using a Burlo why did I do that because most people are going to use a Burlo it's just easy and um, for beginners it's easy so that's not to say that people can't use the builder straight out of the the dropify builder straight out of the gate but the thing is when you're struggling and like you're paying for facebook ads you're testing products uh you like you're doing all sorts of things you're getting a logo you're getting a website you're paying the shopify trial i mean um you might be building a website you might be doing all sorts of things 
there's so many things that like pop up that you have to pay for. And on top of that, you're trying to make some profit and then you're trying to be able to make so much profit and build up your business. And then um, all of a sudden you got to hire virtual assistants or you got to hire someone to help you. You got to get that toll free number. There's so many things. You got to get the different apps for the store because they all have uh, monthly fees as well. There's so many things that add up and then all of a sudden, this is also, by the way, why I never recommend making, um, doing products where you're making like one or $2 profit. Like it's just silly because you're going to be fulfilling all these orders and never getting anywhere. So back to that point of, um, why I always recommend that you should be making 10 minimum $15, 10 to $15 profit on products. So they're the sort of products that I like to sell and even higher than that, because otherwise you're always going to be chasing your tail, trying to make some money but you're still going to be doing all of the work that it takes. So it takes so much effort. You're going to be doing all the Facebook ads. You're going to be building up the website. You're going to do the customer service. You're going to do all this stuff for no profit whatsoever. So that's why I always go on about that. And if you guys have never thought about that, now you'd be thinking, oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So in that uh, free, free drop shipping course that I have on this channel, I also teach you that as well to be looking for those products that you can make that higher sort of profit margin on because it honestly is pointless. And this is also why I think free just pay shipping is pretty much pointless unless you're going to get them into your funnel and get them buying your higher end products because, um, or at least getting them on an email list and then, um, remarketing to them in the future because one to two dollars profit off free just pay shipping or let's say you make six dollars profit max that's about as as much as you're going to make it's just pointless in my opinion because of all the things i just told you so lots of hidden expenses guys and lots of things to be aware of and that's why i like to be a realist with you and that's also why i always say about uberlo and not dropify but if you want to check out dropify i'll leave the uh, 14 day free link down below and you can go on check it out. Um, maybe it's for you. Maybe you prefer it. Maybe you've used it already and you think it's better. Uh, there definitely is benefits to it, like I said, but there's also a few negatives. And one of those being that straight up $47 a month when you are a beginner. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I just try to be as honest with you and, you know, give you my opinion on it. Uh, hopefully that helps you guys out. Oh yeah, leave it there. So please give the video a like for me. If you have any questions about a Burlo or Dropify or anything about drop shipping, drop them down below. Um, as I said, I have that free, completely free course on anything you want to know about drop shipping on this channel. Just look up free drop shipping course and my name. And uh, I think it's under free drop shipping course 2018. You'll end up finding it. And uh, yeah, I'll leave it there. Please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.